Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a new insane method on how to boost the FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3. I never showed this here right now on my channel, guys, so therefore make sure to watch the whole entire video. And if you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to leave a like. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, in today's video, I want to talk about two super simple steps to improve your performance in Fortnite Chapter 3. There's literally nothing you have to do extra. Let me just explain something to you guys. I'm quite sure every one of you knows the multi-thread rendering option in Fortnite itself. You know, you can like straight up find it in the game option itself. And multi-thread rendering pretty much already says that you gotta have like multiple CPU cores. And there are tons of people out there who have like maybe like a medium i5 or like a Ryzen 5. And they're still like really confused. Should I utilize this actually? Does this bring FPS to me or not guys? I'm just gonna read it out here real quick for you. Multi-threaded rendering is a setting you can turn on or off in Fortnite. Multi-threaded rendering splits drawing work across multiple threads and can improve performance on CPU with multiple cores. But multi-threaded rendering can also cause hitching and lower FPS on weaker CPUs. And there are as mentioned tons of people who have like something like an i5 4000 series or I don't know 6000 series, you know like a little bit older back and they're still like trying to figure out should I utilize this now or not. And let me just put like another tweet right now here on screen. And the guy I just tweeted out a multi-thread off on my i5 4619k which is still a pretty powerful CPU in my opinion. I mean you could like easily run up like a 1660 super with this CPU. Versus on is a boost of 70 FPS, stock 3.9 gigahertz, it's crazy. So pretty much he's just telling us once he turned off multi-thread rendering even with like a 4 core CPU he got an insane FPS boost of 70 FPS guys. That's like such a big difference. So therefore if you guys are running CPUs which have like up to 4 cores definitely don't utilize multi multi-thread rendering and from above you know like maybe like a Ryzen 5 2600 or like even older Ryzen models they all have like six cores they can utilize this 100% and the same also goes for Intel as long as you have above four cores you could definitely utilize multi-thread rendering then it's gonna make actually an impact on your performance you know something like dual core or quad core CPUs definitely turn it off guys and you will gain so much more FPS and for the second tip I just want to give you guys here actually real quick you only have to open up actually here your Epic Games launcher guys and go into your settings if you don't know how to get here guys you know you just simply launch it click here actually on your profile and they can see already settings just simply open it up guys and there are so many things here check guys which you should uncheck the hundred percent enable offline mode browsing minimize to system tray run when my computer starts enable debug logging hide game library throttling downloads and use proxy all of these definitely should be turned off hundred percent guys it's not gonna make like a crazy difference but if you're really struggling with FPS this can maybe be like super important for you to get something playable and the only thing which I would leave on here is actually allow installs where editors are running and enable cloud saves and for the rest guys here also like the notifications turn them off 100% and as we go down here to Fortnite also make sure to actually don't utilize any additional comment lines here you know like in chapter one it was really common to put in here something like allow all CPU cores or stuff like that you know like everyone put it in here but here actually in chapter three guys it doesn't make a difference anymore so please make sure to uncheck this actually only leave on here auto update and for the rest also you can see a manage games allow auto update and allow installs during gameplay of course not guys because that's gonna mess it up and yeah for the rest you just can leave it like that just simply make sure to copy all of my settings here one by one and you guys should be chilling and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace that shit too light before it all come get inside Dami Gucci Lee come take a dive Kill that shit but just don't kill the vibe We the ones they talking about We the rulers we gon' hop inside the crowd